Paul Ekman is a psychologist and the author of the book Emotions Revealed. The way in which emotions evolved, it was to deal with things like saber-toothed tigers. You don't have time to think. You have to make very complex decisions in split seconds. Estimates of speed and angle and what you need to do. Uh, and if you had to think about what you were doing, you'd be dead. It's a system that evolved to deal with really important things without your thinking about it. That means that sometimes you're going to be very thoughtless and you're not even going to know it until someone says to you, what are you getting so upset about? The way in which we can improve our emotional life is to introduce conscious awareness. You want to be able to choose what you become emotional about and when you become emotional. And the second is you want to be able to choose how you act when you are emotional. Problem number one. Sometimes we become emotional about things that we don't think merit becoming emotional. The first step is to keep a diary of when you become emotional. Write it down in detail. Then go through it and look for what are the themes that are causing your emotions. And you should be able to identify three or four things that are again and again getting you to act emotionally. Now you're equipped. You know what the triggers are. Now when you're about to enter a situation, think, is this likely to trigger the, one of my themes? If so, what can I do? Do a full body scan? Do meditation? Maybe I better postpone this meeting because it's going to have one of my hot triggers. Or am I in pretty good shape? That's step one. Step two, increase the gap between impulse and action. And emotion episodes begin with an appraisal that something is triggering your emotion that's based on your previous life experience. But this appraisal mechanism is continually scanning, looking for any of these triggers. The moment it clicks on something, an impulse arises. That impulse, if it gets to the circuitry in your brain, it'll set off the emotion in your expression, your voice, your posture. But it takes time for the impulse to get translated into action. You want to lengthen that time. The only thing that seems to stretch that out is mindfulness. And you won't always spot the impulse, but sometimes you'll have the wonderful feeling, I am about to get angry. I think I won't. Now we're ready to move to how do I become aware of the fact that I'm acting emotionally when I am? One is pay close attention to the other person's facial expressions because they're the recipient of your emotions. And you can say, oh my God, they're starting to look very disappointed. What am I doing that's so disappointing them? Second source, the changes within your body, changes in your musculature, in your respiration, they are different, we found, for different emotions. The problem is we pay no attention to them. We've got to bring the sensations that are unique to each emotion into consciousness so you'll start to feel it while you're experiencing it. Those are the two steps. Learn more about emotions and microexpressions at paulekman.com.